am on an adventure today. I've got my coconut craze, which is basically frozen bananas and coconuts. This is bananas. <laughs> and it's such a beautiful day. And I'm like, there's no way I'm staying inside. This has been like the best summer ever. And I'm rocking. I got an interesting comment on one of my videos. This was um, in reference to a Native American creed that I had posted. Well, after they basically, you know, demeaned my spirituality because they were very concerned that, you know, I was still being identified with the limitations of religion. And this comment really got me thinking and it was very kind of um, insightful for me because I realized that on a higher plane of existence, there is no right or wrong. There is no bad or good. It's only the limitations of the human mind that creates the dualistic nature of our reality. When we get off the path or when we identify ourselves with some limitation, a lot of times it can act as you know a setback that in time actually propels us forward. So it's kind of like stretching a rubber band backwards. You know, there's all this tension and yes, you're pulling it backwards. But in that tension, in that time that you are, you know, identified with your limitation, that tension, it's only a matter of time before there is a release or a surrender and you propel yourself forward on the path. So that's why we really can't judge other people. <laughs> you know, we're human, we try to judge people, but it's impossible. There's no way that you can dictate or pinpoint somebody's level of consciousness or where they're at in their awakening. So I really don't think there's anything wrong with studying and researching different topics and religions to see what can help you expand in different ways. And you know, Bashar the teacher, the channel, has a really good saying, it's not this or that. It's this and that. We can use all of it. We can take what we want from each religion and we can, we can bring it all together into one and use it all as one solid foundation for our understanding of our experience of what we feel the Great Spirit is. So I just feel like whatever helps you get to that peace and that stillness, that oneness within your own 
presence, you know, by all means. And, you know, there's no reason to limit yourself in either way, in any category, in any category of spirituality or religion. You know, we can use all of it to help us get to that, that place, that destination that we're seeking. But, you know, speaking of destination, it's, it's all about the journey. So I think it was just kind of like a reminder that no matter what you're experiencing, it's perfect for your reality at this time. All paths lead to the same source. We're all going back to source. No matter which detour you take, no matter which crazy path you choose, you're still headed back to source. So if there's something that interests you and it feels aligned and it feels like it's bringing you back pieces of yourself, it's bringing you into greater wholeness, then that's for you and no one can judge that. But as long as it doesn't create distance between you and your higher self, that's all that matters. So anyway, I love the cicadas. Oh my God, they're so beautiful.